here is Mary Lefebvre. She's a, a lawyer in Lexington, South Carolina. She's undecided. She has a question that should resonate with many in this state. Go ahead. Thank you, Anderson. Governor Kasich, I have a question involving a women's issue that will be important to the voters in this state. The state of South Carolina leads the nation in incidents of deadly violence against women. As president, what will you do, what steps will you take to address the high rates of violence against women in this country? Well, we have to have a war against that. And I know that they won a Pulitzer uh, in, in one of the major newspapers in this, in this state, and uh, down in Charleston. In fact, they endorsed me today, which was really a wonderful thing to have. And the lady actually, one of the reporters actually took me to the wall and showed me the Pulitzer that they won from saying that there was a time in this state where it was, it was easier to hurt a woman than it was to hurt an animal. And they've begun to clean that up. And uh, we put a lot of time in, into those kinds of issues in our, in, our, uh, in our state. I'll tell you another thing we worry about, uh, sexual violence on a campus. And I noticed that time ago, and I said there's got to be a place for, for young students, young women to be able to go uh, where they can do things in confidentiality, where there can be a rape kit that can, that can last, because sometimes women don't want to move right away, but after a month or two, they, they might want to move forward with some type of a prosecution. They should tell their story. But, I mean, think about a woman. I got these two 16-year-old daughters. Could you imagine having somebody beat up your daughter or beat up your mother? We have to have an all-out war against this. And you know what? That's a very severe criminal act. And as president, you know, look, these laws are going to fundamentally be at the state level, but it doesn't mean that a president can't use a bully pulpit. It doesn't mean that a president can't speak out on some of these really significant moral issues. And I will do it. You don't, I don't always have to make a law to get somebody in the legislatures to begin to pay attention to these issues. Let me also tell you, we took on the issue of human trafficking. I don't know what you know about that, but there were, in, in my state, like a thousand people who were, I was told by a Democrat, who had walked out on my first state of the state address. I was like, what, why did she get so mad at me? She stormed out. She came back a couple months later to have a meeting with me. And I said, what can I do for you? She said, uh, she said well, there's a problem with this human trafficking with a number of children that are trafficked. She said, uh, I said, well, how's it going for you? She said, I haven't been able to pass anything. I said, well, what if we pass it? And she looked at me and she stared at me and I went, hello, are you still with me? Of course we're going to pass it. And so we have changed the laws around human trafficking, where actually the woman who has been, has been called a criminal has now been determined to be a victim, and now we're putting the pimps in jail and making sure the women can be rehabilitated in our state. It's a wonderful thing. And look, I want to say my wife, Karen, who may even be watching tonight, you know, we got these two 16 years, she may be watching. She has been in the catch court in our city of Columbus, and we take women who before would have been discarded, we raise them up, she goes to the graduation ceremonies, they have their ceremonies in the governor's residence. This is a great, great progress. You know, so a lot of these issues get ignored. The issues affecting the mentally ill, the drug addicted, the working poor, the issue of domestic violence, human trafficking. See, when we get that economy moving and growing, then we have an obligation a real moral obligation to turn to those who live in the shadows and give them a chance to live out their God-given purpose. So thanks for the question, and uh, you'll work with me, all right? You want to come to Washington and work? We're going to put you there. We'll I'd love to. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>